Welcome to Oracle Phone Channel. In this video, we are going to see Ora 00910 specified length too long for this data type. So let me log into the database first. So now I am going to create a couple of table. Before that, we will check some parameter. So it is standard. Now let me create a table. So max string size standard. I am going to create a table. So it is allowed. And I am going to create anywhere cathode table also. created so I am going to create a raw data type table also so it is created ok now the thing is I am going to create the same table 4001 so I am getting error the specified length too long for its data type okay the same nvar cap to data type as 2001 let me try so again the same and i am going to create the table uh, raw data type also 2001 let me give so I am getting the same error. Okay. So the thing is, the max string size is should be in standard. We need we needs to be modified as extended. Then only it can be allowed to create more than the data type character size mentioned. It's by default the database size for standard it's up to four thousand for varchar two, and varchar two two thousand and the raw it's 2000 if it is created more than that means we need to modify the max string size from standard to extended so let's uh, go to this uh, i have prepared the steps so we came to a conclusion for those example it's clear that there is a defined limit db level beyond which we cannot create a table with these data types okay a solution there is a one parameter it's oracle database called as max string size with controls the max size of varchar2 in varchar2 and raw data types so the default value of this parameter is standard where length limit is 4000 varchar2 4000 bytes and when nva cat2 2000 bytes and raw 2000 bytes to increase the size of those data types, the parameter value needs to be changed from standard to extended. The below high level steps to be followed over come this is issue. Before that, we need to follow these prerequisites before proceeding this change. Okay, steps on database vault should be disabled before executing the steps are granted. grant db patch admin to sys user we need to take full database backup to create guarantee restore point in this case revert the settings in extended and the standard or standard we can restore the backup or plasma the database through grp number three the compatible registration parameter must be set 1200 or higher to max in size to extended we can change the value of max in size from standard to extended, but revert it is not possible. That is from extended to standard, it is not possible. The UTL 13132k.sql script increases the maximum size of varchar2, nvchar2, and raw columns for these views where, where this is required, not for all. Okay. Now, the step one we need to perform check DB is enabled on the database and database version. Let me check. So it is false. So it's not enabled. Okay. 
so div is disabled and again banner it is 19c so obviously not in C, not an issue and again so parameter max string size as as we can uh, so parameter compatible all right and again max string size so as we seen already it is standard okay and again number two the step two the full database backup, this is why because there is no uh, db startup post the script execution or during the script execution due to database fault or any other unknown reason then we can now start the database or create a guaranteed restore point for plus by the database, okay. So, start on the database and start the uh, same in upgrade mode. Okay, let me create the restore point first. I am enabling the database flashback or the database is not running with flashback. So I am enabling the flashback database. So now the flashback is enabled. Now I am creating restore plan. Okay, guaranteed restore point and created. So now that uh, restore point has been created. Okay, so now we can proceed the steps. So we have taken that uh, we need to take full backup either full backup or a restore point. I have created a restore point. Now Shut down immediate and start up upgrade. Now we are going to perform the actual steps. Step 3 we are going to perform. Shut down the database and start the same as an upgrade mode. Scope will to SP5. So both is not supplied. Okay. Then because the max in size extended should be reflected on bounds in the database only. So let me open the database again migrate mode so I'm bouncing the database after that we need to run that extended now we need to run blackable level and container level so let me run the container level so earlier it is it should be in value standard after bouncing uh, I changed that uh, parameter in SV file and uh, bounce to the database after that it is modified but after it is full fledged converted only after running this SQL script only so I am running ok
okay it's completed now i am going to shut down the database start up normally so in this case we need to run those script in pdb cdb pdb pdb seed also so pdb seed it's mounted so it is extended okay now let me check into that uh, pluggable database but in this case if you are uh, going to demonstrate uh, in your environment or test or prod uh, or dev test environment you should run container cdb cdb pdb pdb seed i mean three containers so i am uh, i don't run this in a pdb seed so that it is mounted okay let me let me create the table again so again now 4001 okay let me create so we have successfully tested so we need to check the post check in this case in for the physical standby database the above steps have been performed on primary database but what about physical standby side no need to execute too many steps on physical standby database just simply execute below fewer steps to set this parameter in physical standby Start the database and start it upgrade mode. Set the immediate and start up upgrade. Set the parameter max size to extended alter system set. Scope equal to P5. And start the database and start same mount mode. So it will be modified. For rack database, if you want to change the parameter and rack environment, follow the steps below. Uh, set, uh, set the cluster database parameter false and start the entire database with service CTL, alter system set and scope of dash V5 and the service will stop and start as and again start up upgrade and then modify that uh, maximum size to extended both and run that utl utl 32k dot sql dot sql set the database to true and take it register the database and again other system cluster database to scope will receive file and start immediate and uh, start the database well did the changes so we have successfully implemented the uh, maximum size from standard to extended right that's all my friends thank you thanks for watching our clip on channel